Okay guys, I got a small problem. I have this uh, cord that I have set up to uh, run my camera and I have nowhere to hook it to. So I got a couple of these hooks that I found in the garage that have probably been out there for a while. And I'm just gonna go ahead and wire hook up here so I can just hang the wire on it. That way I'm not having to uh, move the wire out of my way. So we'll go ahead and, this one's in, so we'll go ahead and start the next one. And we'll just you know get this wire up out of the way. This is a temporary solution um, because I'm gonna wire some electrical outlets out back here so I don't have to have this cord all the way running around the house. But since it is a temporary solution, I do at least want to get it up off, off the ground. That way it can it's not in my way for other things. And if you'll notice, uh, there's some grass up on the side of the house, but that's the grass got too tall. It, it rained way too much, and I really didn't have time to mow. So I got behind on the mowing, and I am putting these in at a slight angle, so that way I don't hit the side of them. Because I'm trying to put them in at a slight angle. Doesn't seem to want to work with me. But, uh, you know, the grass got too tall and I wasn't going to do a mulching. So I had to take the mulching shield off. So I threw the grass everywhere. And I'm going to clean it up later. But right now I'm going to get the side of the house dirty anyway, so there's really not much point in cleaning it up at the moment. Boy, that just does not want to go in there at all. Whew. Not at all. I should probably pre-drill the hole. Try a different section of it. Let's see if it's any easier to get up in there. Nope, I fell off. All I need is for it to bite. Once it bites, it's it's easy from there. It does not want to see the bite at all. I should have probably done this six months ago whenever I put the cameras in. Which I seem to remember asking. First I'm going to go pick me up some hooks and they never did, so... Of course I did find some laying around, so... It all works. Yep. I'll be right back with the drill so I can pre-drill the hole. So we've got the drill. Ready? And I don't know if we're going in or out. There's in. And we're going to just go ahead. Throw us a little hole. Not big. Not anything great. You know, you gotta make sure that it's smaller than the piece you're trying to put in. Boy, that goes in there so much easier now. Okay. So we can go ahead and pull this a little more tight. Wait. Squeeze her up in there and we can move on to the next spot. This is so easy, isn't it? So we're only putting three of these in today. And, uh, well, like I said, though, it's because it's just temporary until I can get the electrical ram for the extra receptacles. But I'm waiting until I can get the uh, basement done so I can run the receptacles down there as well. And then I'd probably like to go ahead and have the garage have some receptacles ran in there and some ran into the shed. Boy, girl. There's no sense in calling an electrician out 
multiple times. But I could have everything ready and have it all done in one shot. So we're gonna kind of put this one kind of close to close to my break here, my a corner that we're gonna go underneath. Because we want it to be a little taut, but not overly tight. So we're just gonna put this on up in there. And I was hanging it off the, uh, the stick it here and the heater. Uh, and I got more hooks, which is the other hooks don't match. So we're going to pull that through here. Kind of get it tossed around the corner there. It's going to slack a little bit, but we'll be able to tighten that up on the other end. But for now, we're done. I can plug my camera back in now. Okay, with the camera plugged back in now, you can see that it, you know, it, it slacks a little bit here. But uh, it's fairly up and tight and along the side of the house. So uh, it's out of the way of the trimmer, out of the way of the mower, and out of the way of the project I'm getting ready to start. Bye.